Can you solve this SAT question in under 30 seconds? What we're looking to do here is we're trying to find what is the proper grammar for standard English that would fit in this statement. So our options are freedom, comma, her, freedom, semicolon, her, freedom, dash, her, or freedom, her. So looking at it here, we can already see that before the line and after the line, we have two separate lines of thought or two separate statements. And so already, just taking a look at this, we can eliminate option D because it's not the same sentence. Then if we take a look at our other options here, the comma is gonna tell us to take a pause. Now here, we could take a pause, but we'd want the word and because we have a complete thought after and a complete thought before. So because of that, we can probably get rid of this one as well. That's gonna leave us options B and C. In our common English grammar here, the dash is going to tell us that it's either a pause or an interruption. Option B tells us that with the semicolon, we have two complete thoughts, hence the little period in the semicolon, but also they're of the same idea, which is why there's also the little comma in the semicolon. So at this point, looking between these two options, while we could use the dash, the problem is it's not an interruption of a thought to a different thought. These two things are connected. Because of that, we can eliminate option C, and here we would select option B. Like, share, and subscribe for more SAT English content like this.